Well, actually, I want you to calculate the volume of carbon dioxide produced at 25 degrees Celsius um, and 100 kPa. So, again, the four steps. Step one, write a balanced equation. The formula for ethanol, we should all know that, is what? C2H5OH plus oxygen will give us carbon dioxide plus water. Don't forget to write your states because you'll probably lose marks. Liquid, gas, gas, liquid. Alright? And then we need to balance this equation, right? So the equation actually needs to be balanced. And we'll see that because there's a 2 over here, right? I need definitely two carbon dioxides. And then I just have a look at this guy and see how many oxygens do I need. Um, and I'll actually see that if I just put a 3 over there and a 3 over there, everything balances out. So I've done my step 1. Um, step 2 says convert what I have to moles. So what do I have? I have 72.5 grams. Um, so what I, what I need to do is I need to convert 72.5 grams into moles. How will I do that? I will use this formula. All right? So I'll find the molecular mass of, um, of ethanol and I'll divide it by the molecular mass of ethanol and I'll get the moles of this guy. All right? So that is my step two. Um, my step three would be to use the mole ratio. Now what do I want? I want carbon dioxide. Correct? So to calculate the amount of carbon dioxide, what I need to do is, um, because the mole ratio is one to two, for every mole of ethanol over here, I have two moles of carbon dioxide. So what I need to do is, I need to take this number and I have to multiply it by two. Okay? And that will give me the moles of carbon dioxide. And then what do I need to do? I need to convert from moles to what I need. And what do I need? I need volume. And for that, I can actually use this equation over here. And volume is just equals to N times VA. And the number of moles is this much, and I have to times it by VA. And VA, you can read from the back of your data sheet, but because it's at 25 degrees, it's 24.79. And you will get your answer. So that's all you actually have to do to do a mole calculation question. Pretty straightforward. First thing, write your balance equation. Second thing, convert what you have to moles. Third thing, um, use the mole ratio to go to the other side, as we did, to go from here to carbon dioxide. And step four, convert back down to what you need. So it's, it's actually quite straightforward to do mole calculations. What we'll do is, we'll have a look at something else as well. So let's pick a harder example. What we'll do is, um, you know, we're going to be using something titrations. And students usually get quite scared when doing titration questions. But again, as I said, if you know something, it's easy. If you don't know something, it's hard. So in this titration question, what a student is actually doing is, he's preparing the standard solution. So it starts with sodium hydroxide. All right, he takes sodium hydroxide and dissolves one gram of sodium hydroxide in 250 milliliters of water. All right, these questions are in the path one associated with this, so just have a look at that. And then what he does is, he titrates 25 milliliters of the solution um, with 23.2 milliliters of 0 0.100 moles per liter of hydrochloric acid. And what they're asking me to do is they're asking me to find the concentration of NaOH. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. There's already a, a, a quick way um, where you have, you know, NaVA equals um, CaVA equals CVVV, but we won't be actually using that. I'll show you how we can apply what we've learned previously to solve this question. So the first thing we'll do is we'll write a balanced equation. NaOH plus HCl gives you NaCl plus H2O. Don't forget the states. I'll ignore them for now. But we can see this is already balanced. So the mole ratio is 1 to 1. What do I need to do? I need to convert what I have to moles. So what do I have? I have HCl. Right? I can find N equals CV. So the moles of HCl 
equals the concentration, which is 0 0.100 times the volume, which is 23.2 divided by a thousand, because I have to convert that to liters. So this, I've just done step one, which was write the equation. Step two, converted what I have to moles. Step three, use the mole ratio. Because I want to find sodium hydroxide, and the mole ratio is just one to one, this is the moles of NaOH as well. It's exactly the same. And then step four is, I can convert the moles into what I need. And what do I need? I actually need the concentration. So then what I need to do is, I can take this guy and then I can divide, because the concentration equals the moles divided by the volume. So this is the moles, and I divide this by the volume, which was 25 milliliters. And we know with maths, I can just times it, and I just have to invert this, so I'll get a thousand divided by 25. This guy and this guy disappears, and this will actually give me the concentration. And if I do that, I'll see I'll get something like 0 0.0928 moles per liter. And that's all I actually have to do. Again, we were given three significant figures, so please make sure answer is in three significant figures, and that's the end of it. That's all you need to do to do your more calculations. Those four steps and you can do pretty much everything. That's all we'll do tonight.